Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Now, I am very excited about today's video, as always, I seem to be excited about them all. I really enjoy unboxing videos and I've been doing a lot of Halo Heroes, but today I got something different. I've got one, two, three, and four. Four parcels from around the internet, one I'm tremendously excited about. Let's do that one last. First, we've got these ones, okay? Now, I love a good steal on eBay, and I scored these for quite a cheap price, and they might be Chinese knockoffs, I'm not sure, but anyho. First off, we've got, whoa! What are these, I wonder? This is an active camo blue Trophit, <laughs> Trophit. <laughs> this is an active camo blue Prophet of Truth. Wow. And this guy is from the Scarab, which makes me think that this is not a real figure, because f to sell not only one, but two of these for a very cheap price, I'm wondering how they got hold of the molds, and yeah, whether or not they're legit. But they look really good, they look just spot on, exactly as the normal figure does. And we've got two of them. I can see a slight change in the plastic of these two. This one seems to be see-through on the body, and this one's like a more hard plastic. Cloudy plastic, that's a good name for it. I would not be surprised if these aren't real. And, wow, that's weird. This one says one underneath it, and this one says two underneath it. Hmm, something fishy about these ones, but I'm hoping to send one off to that 70s dude and his hobbies so he can custom this, maybe even make it into a profit of mercy because we still don't have a figure of that. Wait, go back. That's what I thought he said. The Prophet of Regret is planning to activate Halo. Are you sure? I shall light this holy ring, release its cleansing flame, and burn a path into the divine beyond! Pretty much. Commander. We've got a problem. Now I'm looking at it more and more, I think these have definitely got to be some Chinese knockoffs. I'm sorry Megablox for adding Chinese knockoffs to the market. And these are not the only ones I ordered from this seller. Let's see if the other ones look Chinese. <laughs> We've got... Whoa, oh, a lot of figures there. We'll do these one by one. First of all, we've got an orange Spartan JFO. I've always loved this figure. This is from one of the Last Man Standing sets. He looks really cool in Halo Reach dioramas. And we've got two of them. There's some weird markings on his armor there. It looks like a bad mold. It still looks nice that it's a silver and dark gray variation between the armor tones. And what else do we have? We've got, <laughs> we've got a third one. <laughs> Next one, we've got, I see a blue figure. We've got a blue JFO. <laughs> We've got a lot of JFOs. And these two shoulders look like slightly different tones of blue. I love me a JFO. And last but not least, we've got not one, not two, but three Spartan EVAs, and they are all glow in the dark. Ooh, they got some dirt on them. Like, that's legitimately just dirty. I love the glow in the dark last man standing sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine figures. All looking really cool there. Look out for these on my eBay listings. I'm sure some will pop up. Then we've got this box here. I've already had a look inside and this box is like three times the size of what's inside. Just pop that off. And this is a set that I've been looking to get my hands on for years. Uh, it came out while I was living in China, so I never got it. But this is whoa, the UNSC Jackrabbit Blitz. Really cool set from Halo Wars 2, and it includes Douglas 042, a really cool Spartan. Let's pop the lid off there. There he is, Spartan Douglas. Watch out for Atriox. <laughs> He's got a really cool emblem of the Spirit of Fire on his shoulder. He's got that great speckled armor look. His helmet still looks a slightly different shade from the rest of his armor, but really cool figure. Comes with two magnums, and I cannot wait to build the Jackrabbit. And last but not least, this one I've been so excited about. This is from one of my really good friends, CL Animations or Clan Animations. I'm not quite sure how to say it. CL Animations 13. He's a YouTuber. 
that has been a really good friend of mine recently. And this is a call to actions. Please go check this guy out, CL Animations 13. I'll put a link in the description below. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel as a personal favor to me. I get really excited when I see fresh YouTubers making animations because that's exactly how I got started all those years ago. So I would love to see more growth from him in the future. And today, he has hooked me up with a set that I've been looking for for years. I'm really excited to get my hands on it. He's uh, packaged this up really nicely too. Whoa! This was not part of the deal. I have never seen this figure before in my life. This is a green AC Spartan Helioskrill with a Hydra launcher. This thing is gorgeous! I have never seen this before. And he also included a Series 4 Cortana. Ah, oh, the nostalgia! Oh, I haven't held one of these data chips in my hand for years. This is the original Cortana from Series 4. Now, if anybody... this this brings back so many memories. The, the original blind bags for Halo Mega Bloks, they were really getting started around Series 4, and Series 4 was the first time that you ever had a named figure in a blind bag. And this Cortana was really rare, it was only one per box. And if you used to watch my channel, Sam and I would go to Morrison's, this store in England, and go looking for these series packs all the time. It was some of the first videos we made. Sam, what happened to your hand? I lost it. What are you gonna try and pick up? <laughs> That's just cheating, you're not just balanced. I win. <laughs> I win. Wow, thank you for actually bringing back all that nostalgia. That's, that's so cool, this is going straight on my desk. I'll be taking this to Hong Kong with me. And we have, th this is great, we haven't even got into the main package yet. We have got not one, not two, but three new mold grunts. All of them in the Halo 4, Halo 5 design. And these are the first new mold grunts in this design that I've got my hands on. And I got a set of three, look at these guys. Look at that face, it's so ugly. We've got the brand new rocket launcher. The rocket, which goes in the end here and then the smoke trail, and this goes with this little Spartan here. Very nice, very nice. Can you tell me what set it is? I just thought it was so cool when they announced it. I thought it was so cool when they put it in Halo 5 to begin with. It really gives the grunts some extra character. I see purple. <laughs> this is the grunt goblin mech suit. Too long had the grunts been downtrodden by the rest of the Covenant, now they have the means to fight back. <laughs> I got a Yap Yap the Destroyer on the way, so I'm really excited to get him inside the mech suit. Just a really fun set, a wacky design, and some really cool figures to go with it. I am very impressed with this, and I give it a full five stars. There, you already saw the review. That was the conclusion of the review. <laughs> five stars. And really what concludes an epic haul. Thank you so much to CL Animations 13 for putting this set together. I really hope to do some more trades in the future. And please, as a favor to me, go and subscribe to his YouTube channel. He deserves more subs and I really hope to see his channel grow in the future, especially this AC Helio Skrill and all the nostalgia behind this Cortana. We've also got these new mold grunts, two AC Prophet of Truths, loads of figures from the Last Man Standing sets, and a Jackrabbit Blitz. What an epic haul. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Check out CL Animations 13, and the Grunt Goblin Mech Suit is signing off. The moment of truth to see if Sam gets an EVA or just another brute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freaking brute again. <laughs>